Welcome to a whole new way of looking at hydro processing. With conventional technology, here's what happens. Feedstock flows in and mixes with combined makeup and recycle hydrogen, flows through a two-phase trickle bed reactor packed with catalyst. The two-phase reactor effluent flows to a hot high-pressure separator. Liquid reactor effluent exits the bottom of the hot high-pressure separator, while the overhead flows to a high-pressure condenser, to a cold high-pressure separator, to a high-pressure amine scrubber, then back to the recycle gas compressor. But there's a better way. Let's say the feedstock mixes with a bit of makeup hydrogen and flows through a single-phase isotherming reactor. Then, as the liquid-only effluent exits the reactor, a pump recycles some of it to mix with the feedstock while the remaining effluent is further separated. Welcome to a whole new way of looking at hydro-processing. Isotherming technology is a safer, more cost-effective alternative to conventional hydro-processing with no recycled gas compressor and up to 50% OPEX savings. Isotherming offers a reliable and robust high-performance technology for improved yields, extended catalyst life, high energy efficiency, minimal emissions, and a smaller overall footprint. Key to the efficiency of isotherming is what goes on in and around the reactor. An isotherming reactor is different from a trickle bed reactor in important ways. A trickle bed reactor depends on near-perfect feedstock distribution throughout the catalyst bed to maximize reaction efficiency and avoid overheating and coking. In an isotherming reactor, a single-phase feedstock saturates every square millimeter of catalyst and operates with a lower reactor temperature rise, minimizing coking and overheating reaction efficiency remains consistently high. An equally important feature of isotherming technology is the sealess recycle pump that delivers excess hydrogen to fresh feedstock before it enters the reactor. The extremely reliable pump eliminates the need for a recycled gas compressor and uses about 10% of the energy. All this sounds good, but will isotherming technology work? In fact, it's working now. Isotherming technology is already commercially proven in units producing up to 78,000 barrels a day. More than 20 refineries worldwide have adopted the technology for grassroots and revamp applications that include diesel hydro-treating, kerosene hydro-treating, FCC feed hydro-treating, mild hydro-cracking, de-waxing, transmix hydro-treating, gas-to-liquid upgrading, it's easy to see why isotherming technology is the way of the future. We invite you to experience the innovation with us.